and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Brienne from Beyond Briation and in today's video we have a little haul of some things that I've picked up recently. Uh, some of these things are from, well actually majority of these things are from my local scrapbook shop and then one item is uh, an order that I placed online. So let's get into it. <music> First thing that I have here is this Hunky Dory Forever Florals Hydrangea Deluxe Craft Pad. So this is a Hunky Dory collection. It is all matte. I love the matte Hunky Dory products. This one I ordered from Ecstasy Crafts, which is a Canadian online retailer. I think they also have an, an actual storefront, but I live on the other side of Canada, so I order online from them. And I just love the matte hunky-dory. And it's got the gold foil, which is so beautiful. So you get all of your toppers in here. So you get, let's see here this one, two, three, four topper sheets. You get your cardstock that corresponds with all of that. You get the gold foiled cardstock that goes with it. So you get four of each of those and then you also get your inserts. So these are a little bit thinner, but they are the insert papers and they can be used as regular cardstock as well. And you get see, eight of those. And that is everything that is in the Forever Florals Hydrangea Deluxe Craft Bed. So that was the first thing that I got. And this one, like I said, was from, I ordered this one online. The next thing I got was my Crafter's Companion craft kit. So this is the craft kit for the month of April. I am not going to unbox this here, but I have picked this up this month. Spoiler alert, I am hoping to use the embroidery on my April 2023 scrapbook layout. So I've not done my April 2023 layout yet and I'm hoping to incorporate the embroidery dies. So I am also going to be posting a unboxing video of this craft kit. So look out for that. That will be coming out very, very shortly. Um, but this is something that I hold recently. Now these next two items, um, I don't believe either of them are actually available. These I got from my local scrapbook shop and these are custom to the store that I got them from. So this one I don't actually think was custom to the store but this Spellbinders Clubs kit is no longer available but um, I do have a card class coming up where we're going to be using this. I haven't even opened it yet. So let's see what we get in here. So we got some little sequins. We have some, let's see what these are. These look like little pop dot type things. We have got our card bases and our envelopes. And this I believe is just a summary of what we have in here. So see, it's, I just saw where it said February, 2022. So that is the kit of the month for February, 2022. So it's like over a year old. So I don't believe that it's available anymore, but we get the always remember die cut shapes. We get some dies in here as well. We get some frames. And I believe this is just double-sided tape. So in this kit, you get everything you need to make the cards, really. We get some stamps as well. These little chipboard embellishments here. We get the paper pad. And we also get solids and then gold foil cardstock as well. 
So that's everything that we get in this little kit. I've never gotten one of these Spellbinders card kit of the month before. So I'm really excited to be attending this class and get to use all of these goodies. And the collection itself is just so, so pretty. So I'm really excited about that. This card class is next week. So I will be showing you all of the pretty things that I make using this kit very shortly. And last but not least, we have this 49 and Market Crafters Home special value set. So this is exclusive to my local scrapbook shop. This was a value set that was available um, a couple of weeks ago and I was able to get it. There was limited stock of it. So you get the 49 and Market, this little case, which is amazing. And we get tons and tons of goodies inside. So first we got the Rustic Collection Jute Cording 5 ply. So this is just some rope. In here we also get the 4 inch Adverts Washi Tape Roll. So this is a nice thick roll of washi tape. And it also comes, oh I didn't even notice this. It comes with a slicer so that you can um, cut it it looks like. So that's really cool. Oh, you turn the box into um, a way to cut it. That's really cool. So we got that. We get the sea glass enchanted petals, the blue raspberry sugar stems. So we got those two flower packs. We get these paper clips um, and they're word clips. So perfect memories and today. We get the shaped clips, so we get the arrow, the camera, and then the envelope with the heart. I might end up actually using these. I am working on my wedding album, and I'm finally at the stage where I can order my pictures because I know how many spots for pictures I have. So I'm thinking I might use these in that album. We also got the Curator's Meadow, the Meadow tag set. So you get 18 tags in here with strings. We got the Spectrum Sherbet. Um, these are Tidal Wave Mini Index Clips. I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but I have them. We got the Wishing Bubbles and Baubles in Mango. So these are epoxy coated sticker embellishments and they are so, so pretty. I love the orange. We got the Essential Ephemera Pages. So you get 45 mix and match die cut pieces and you can kind of see a preview of them all on the back here. We got the botanical rub-on transfer set and you also get the rub-on tool because it's 49 in market. And these is a, this is a preview of all of the rub-ons. We also got the sage washi strips. The six by eight collection pack. So you get 28 sheets in here. You get three each of nine double-sided pattern papers and then one fussy cut element sheet. You can kind of see it all in the back here. We got the 34 mix and match die cut pieces, the natural ephemera stack. And that is, you can see here, kind of what's inside. And we also lastly got the uh, 24 mix and match die cut pieces. Um, and this is the essential remnants and you get to see these. These are bigger like ephemera die cut pieces. So that is everything that I got in that little kit. I thought it was honestly just a great deal and I love 49 and Market. I have some collections by them in my stash currently and I have some ideas for what I want to do with them. So it's just nice to be able to add some more pieces to my 49 and Market stash. So that is everything that I had to show you today. That's everything that I've picked up recently. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will be posting my cards that I make in my from my Spellbinders class. I'll be posting those. I'll also be posting my unboxing of the embroidery dies from Crafters Companion. 
and I will also be posting my April 2023 scrapbook layout. So those are our three things that I have coming up for you very, very soon. And I'm sure I'm also going to be using my Hunky Dory Hydrangea paper kit very soon as well. So I have lots coming out, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks here to show you. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next Beyond Creation video. Bye.